Welcome to another Demarcation Media action figure review. Today we have another Joy Toy figure. It's been a little bit since I got a new Joy Toy figure, but with the new Space Marine 2 game coming out, I got that Ultramarine itch again. So today we're going to be looking at the Stern Guard Veteran with Auto Bolt Rifle. Basically, he's the guy that's got the firstborn helmet and not one of the other guys. This was sent to me by Calcus Toys, so if you want to get this guy or any other figures, I will put the link to this particular dude and just the link to their site in general down there. So a huge thank you to them. Them sending me this has nothing to do with what I say about the figure. You can't buy good reviews on this channel, so if there's bad, I'm going to talk about it. If there's good, I'm going to talk about it. So let's go ahead and get him open. I don't feel like we need to focus too much on the box. Joy Toy has kind of found a formula and stuck to it. You get the pretty sleek box design, 118th scale. You got a picture of who you get inside. And then, of course, on the back, you get to see more details. Always close your knives. I almost didn't. That is a stupid idea. These boxes are pretty collector friendly if you're the type of person who wants to keep them sealed. Almost every Joy Toy figure has come with a stand now. And there he is. Ooh, this is the first figure I've gotten that has a firstborn helmet. All the other ones have been Primaris Marines. Look at that. So let me go ahead and get the rest of the accessories out and we will take a closer look. Also, why does he have a lightsaber? What? Alrighty, there he is, out of the package. I believe this is on the 3.0 body, but please don't quote me on that because Joy Toy changes stuff so often, I, I'm not sure. The shoulders have the softer plastic um, for the connection points, which is great. That means more posing. And of course, I want to give some size comparisons. So you can see that's the, this is the first one. This is the 2.0, I believe. The knees, that's something I wanted to point out right away. See the knees, see how gappy that is. This guy, first thing I noticed, way less gappy. That's fantastic. I also noticed that he can't get as much outward movement at the hips as this guy can, or maybe that's a, just an illusion and he actually can. I don't know, he just feels a little bit more stiff in terms of like what he can actually pose. And then for a little bit more of a size size comparison, we've got a Black Series Stormtrooper, that is the Flame Trooper, and then we've got a Mega Figure, that is me, that is my Sig Fig. So not much has changed in terms of sizing. There is some shading on the figure. We'll look that closer in a minute. Not nearly as heavy as this guy, but still a decent amount. So I got this guy because I wanted an Ultramarine with a Firstborn helmet, and I gotta say it looks pretty cool. It's got that Darth Vader-y look. It can pose pretty well. It can look up pretty far. It can look down pretty far. It can go side to side. Honestly, I could not ask for more than that. It's a little loose though. That's my only real complaint here. And then he's got, of course, the skull on the chest. He's got his kind of tabard. I love the sculpting here. It really looks like it's crimped between the belt. This goes down. This is soft. And also the whole figure has that kind of gasoline smell. That's pretty much how all Joy Toy figures come. I don't really understand. We have this little skull here. We have some more of these uh, seals. Stuff there. These can rotate. There's a big pouch here. We have his lightsaber, whatever reason he has a lightsaber, I don't know. And then he's got a gun here. Shoulder has a lot of nice detail. Got some detail there. Down on the knee, he's got a raised little emblem. More of his little purity seals. And yeah, that's pretty nice. Some nice shading, not too heavy, not too light. I feel like it's just enough. And the print work on the eyes is pretty fantastic, I gotta say. Honestly, that's, that's pretty nice. That's very sharp. Overall, pretty good. Articulation is pretty much the same as we've seen on all the other guys, but in case you aren't familiar, you've got the shoulders. The shoulders have a little bit of a swing out. You have an ab 
there there's a joint at the waist and a joint up here but the tabard is so thick you don't get ton of movement there you can get rotation though double jointed elbow a little over 90 these are the newer hands so they get a ton of articulation which is fantastic legs get pretty limited by this piece but you do get a full bend there that pops off really easily that's a little concerning but you can get a decent amount of movement there it just moves around on the ball joint toe hinge which i feel is completely useless i always think toe hinges are useless because all they do is loosen up over time so articulation he is somewhat limited in the legs because of how much stuff he's got down there but in the head and in the arms it's pretty good the arms are definitely a lot better than the earlier space marines that had the shoulder pieces like i don't think i'm gonna have to modify these because these move pretty well and in terms of extras we of course have that stand we get a trigger hand for both sides which is nice he's got one on right now and then we have the other side here we have a holding hand which is interesting because we have a small holding hand oh my gosh they finally did it holy crap finally they gave us a gun gripping hand I might be just a little bit behind here because I've not gotten every single Joy Toy release, but they had not done a gun gripping hand, and this is the first I've seen of it. So holy moly, this is a fantastic accessory. So we get normal holding hands for both sides, but then a gun gripping hand for one side and then a fist. You get a bolt pistol. This is pretty standard, nothing real special here. And then we get the freaking massive auto bolt rifle, which is pretty cool. I feel like the gold here is a little messy, but it's not bad it does the job that's cool and then this strap is hinged on both sides which is great looks really good so you can kind of move that out of the way i don't know how that would last over time but for now that's pretty sick okay so a couple of quick addendums before we finish the video there are actually two fists one just got hidden under the box and i missed it so yay you get two fists also, that's a problem. Where did it go? There it is. This thingy is so big that it basically impedes all movement of both the torso and the leg. I didn't realize this, but as I was um, posing it to, <laughs> to just show you the posing, I was actually forcing this out of its peg and it's attached in by the smallest peg and a tiny dab of glue. Yeah, to be completely honest here, like as cool as it looks to have that there, it just doesn't fit. I don't know why they put that there. It's not on a ball joint. It can't articulate at all. So I recommend you just yoink it off and leave it yoinked off. Yes, there's a bit of a peg hole, but you can actually pose your figure now as opposed to when you put that on. I tried gluing it back on once and it just popped back off because you can't, yeah, you can't move anything on this side. Also, this back pouch did pop off. I glued that back on. It's all good. But yeah, I just, I don't, I don't recommend you put this on. It just, he's not built to use this properly. If you just want to put him on a shelf and never pose him, then sure, put it on. But otherwise, you should leave it off. Well, there you have it. That is the Ultramarine Stern Guard Veteran with Auto Bolt Rifle. Gotta say, he is pretty cool. Nothing hugely groundbreaking, but I do think those hands, especially the gripping hand, is great. I also noticed they're very much more soft plastic than usual which is good and bad they can be misshapen more easily but they can also be mushed kind of back into shape more easily and weapons go in and out of the hands as well the detail work overall is pretty nice i do wish that joy toy would use some harder material for their joints because most of the time they do come fairly loose but that's my main complaint is just loose joints and the poseability is rather limited on this dude. But he does have that amazing firstborn helmet in white. He's got the giant rifle and he is ready to just absolutely destroy and purge some Xenos. So if you wanna get this guy, I will put the link, as I said, in the description. Big thank you to Calcus Toy for sending this along. And yeah, I am happy to add this guy to the Ultramarine lineup. And I am very happy to have a firstborn helmet. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.